Hello everyone, last class was about the venous drainage of the upper limb. This class will be about the lymphatic drainage of the upper limb. So, starting as an introduction, what is the lymphatics? What are lymphatics? Uh, well, actually, as you see, our body is, isn't perfect. So, um, it usually fails with about 3 liters every single day uh, of fluid that can be distributed. And um, these three liters, if we don't have any lymphatic vessels, we could have edema. Edema is increase in uh, size because of fluids. So um, basically, these lymphatic uh, vessels, or nodes, or lymph nodes, or any of these stuff, uh, they're important for uh, drainage of these three liters that we we fail every day to to uh, to compensate with it. And uh, at the same time. As, as you can see, as you've learned before maybe, uh, the lymphatic vessels are important for immune system. So basically they're important for drainage and they're important for the immune system which are the lymph nodes. We have the B and T cells. Now, I'm going to speak only about the drainage of the upper limb uh, lymphatic vessels. So beginning, we have the lymphatic drainage of the upper limb, we have the superficial lymphatic vessels and um, it ascends usually uh, with the superficial veins. So vessels accompanying the basilic vein uh, enter the capital lymph nodes. So the basilic vein, as I said, will be medially. So it enters, the, uh, accompanying the basilic vein, enter, it enters the cuboidal lymph nodes, uh, ascending the arm, and terminate in the lateral axillary lymph nodes. So we have uh, a, a couple of lymph nodes which I'll be talking about right now after a while and uh, you'll know which one is the lateral axillary lymph nodes now we have vessels accompanying the cephalic vein so basically this is the cephalic vein and uh, they terminate in the apical axillary lymph nodes so basically um, as you can see when you when you uh, are in when you open your arm and you have your armpit we have a couple of lymph nodes there which are very important now the parts of it if we have axillary group of lymph nodes uh, we have anterior pectoral group of lymph nodes so basically the anterior will be from this side and we have uh, posterior subscapular lymph nodes posterior will be basically from the other side and we have lateral hum which are humoral groups and we have central groups which are in the middle and we have medial apical groups. So basically, um, axillary groups are drained by the subclavian lymphatic trunk, and uh, at the same time, uh, lymphatic drainage of the upper limb, um, we have lymphatic vessels accompanying uh, the major deep veins in the upper limb. So basically, wherever you have uh, veins, you have lymphatic drainage. So we have these three things right now. We have arteries, we have veins, and we have the lymphatic drainage. And later on, we will have also nerves. Uh, you learn it later on in anatomy. So, um, uh, as I was saying, the lymphatic vessels accompany the major deep veins of the upper limb and uh, terminate the lateral axillary, axillary lymph nodes. So they drain uh, the lymph from the capsules, they drain from the lymph from the periosteum, from tendons, from nerves and muscles. So basically all of this is the drainage of the upper limb and um, that will be about it for the lymphatic drainage. And about the lymph lymphatics, we have several lymphatic uh, uh, cells, several lymphatic tissues which are basically, you could say, lymphatic plexus, you could say lymph, lymph nodes, you, we have several lymphatic plexus. So, parts where we don't have lymph lymphatics, so let's say, uh, in our teeth, let's say, we don't have lymphatics, so you should, you should know these stuff. Some of these things come in the tests, usually, and you should know about lymph, lymphatic drainage, uh, the, main, the main lymphatic drainage of the upper limb is done by uh, in the axilla so it's very important it has uh, you could say it's also important for metastasis of cancers different types of cancers and uh, that'll be about it thank you